Hi everyone, Spider-Man 1991 here with my reviews for the week of comics. Now then, first off, our, my only image title, Invincible number 70. The, so far the plot is just basically Invincible arriving to deal with the the recent squid evasion. We got Robot escaping so he can, because he knows that the squids have another body out there with attached to them so that they can survive. Invincible shows up, he and the other Guardians of the Globe, Shavesman, Brit, uh, Black Samson, Bulletproof, they're all fighting the squids. Then, we have Robot go on with his mission, Invincible's fighting back. Then, Robot finds the body that has the single squid on it so that they could survive even if their main host dies. We've got the Guardians of the Globe getting rid of all the civilians while Invincible tries to deal with the head with the head squid so that allows them to fight back. All the civilians are transported. The Guardians of the Globe head on are all getting ready to strike. Monster Girl reverts back to her human form. Then Invincible starts to realize he's running out of options so he goes with the one thing that every hero doesn't want to do which is kill. And everyone's shocked by this. When asked what when asked at the government agency about when asking asking Cecil what to do, what they should do, he says that they should let Mark go for now. Then we have Oliver talking to his teacher April about how he's getting smarter and how his aging starting to slow up and his skin's starting to look a little less purple. Mark comes home just says he'll be in his room, and and Mar and Oliver just says anything could be wrong with him. It's always drama. Then we have Robot get, taking a shower, and just like before, one of the squi two squids try to, who hid in his belly try to take control, but then he gets angry and kills them, squishes them both, and says, at last, it's finally over. Then we have Mark talking to Eve about how he, how he could have killed someone, and he's worried about losing control. Then Cecil shows up saying, Mark, I really need to talk to you about something. And of course, if you didn't see the teaser in the back, it's obviously about the vil... Viltrumite War starting starting next issue. Okay, Invincible number seventy was all right. Big shock that Invincible had to kill some actually had to kill someone intentionally though. It could have been by accident, but he did it on purpose, which is kind of freaky, and it's a little out of character. It shocks everyone, but hopefully he'll move past it because now he has a war to deal with coming next month. All right, now it's time for the Marvel titles. First off, Love of Spider-Man number 5, we just got a backup feature of the Vulture. However though, there is another story in here about Ben Riley that I think people should check out. Okay, skipping that. And then we have Dark Avengers number 14, which is pretty much Osborne talking to Miss Hand about seeing a psychiatrist and keeping the, uh, and keeping the Dark Avengers under control. And it pretty much has a conversation with Miss Hand. And going in and she shoots Moonstone and that knocks her out and then all of a sudden everyone sees the sentry starting to sentry or the void attack the entire city and then Osborne's trying to talk sense with the void then we have the Avengers go off and Osborne's trying to get him to calm down saying that you know if you still do this Tony anyone else can kill that he can't kill you, but Reed Richards can, Tony Stark can, anyone can kill, any one of those guys can kill you. Do you want that? And Sentry stops, and they make a deal, and they pretty much talk, he gets them to calm down, and then Osborne notices his Robert's wife, Linda, and then he goes in late at night to talk to Bullseye about killing, about apparently assassinating Sentry's wife. Okay? Dark Avengers number 14 was pretty average. I It was a little bit into a siege tie-in about what's going on with the century, though. Okay, next up, Amazing Spider-Man 621. Yay, finally. Alright, we got Mr. Ney. Alright, all right, we got the Black Cat, a Black Cat and Spider-Man team-up special, where they're going to break the Mr. Negative's office and steal the vat of Spidey's blood. And then we have Aunt May still, who's been, whose negative side has been exposed by Mr. Negative, kicking Harry Osborn out and sending her nieces back, to, her Riley nieces back to the Boston, back to Boston. Then we have Carly Cooper gang, 
traces of the devil's the devil's hand po the potion used to that almost killed Spider Man so that she could and she wants it scanned. Then we have Doctor then we have Ray Cooper calling Carly to get them to meet somewhere about what they're gonna do with their money. Then back to Black Hat and Spidey breaking in. Black Hat manages to open the door open up the door but leave Spider in Spider Man in there so that she can get the blood of that vial. The blood vial. Then Harry Osborne shows up on Mary Jane's doorstep for a place to live. <clears throat> then Spidey's kicking ass, saying that he's happy that he can cut loose for once because these guys can't technically can't really die. And then Mr. Negative shows up, and he's figured out how his powers work by and he figures out how his powers work by a negative charge. And then and then Mr. Negative knocks Spidey out the window. Then we have Carly Cooper talking to her father. She closes the storage unit and she releases the devil's the devil's breath poison, stating thinking that if he's if he is while well, she's wearing a gas mask, thinking that if she's if he really is her father then she can then he's gonna then he's then he would die. But if he isn't and possibly an actor, then he'll he would still live. And then Ray freaks out and attacks Carly trying to get the gas mask. But then she says that it's really knockout gas and she has her ans answer. And so she calls in the re Captain Watanabe and tells her that tells her that she has another dirty cop. And then Black Cat sneaks in, takes the vial, while Mr. Negative is out there trying to find Spider-Man. But he can't. can't. And then Spidey meets up with Black Cat to get his blood back. Then we have a fight between Jay, Jay and May, and then, and then Mary Jane wakes up the next day and finds Harry cooking breakfast for her, which could be, which could be a beautiful roommate relationship. Then Carly meets with Peter about what happened, and they talk about what's going on. She says she just jumped through a gauntlet, and then, and P and Peter says that he knows the feeling, and she says no because it will just make you stronger when you reach the other side. And he says, "Yeah, whatever that is." Then we have a, then we have a brief preview into the next gaunt, into another gauntlet villain coming up with the lizard. Ooh. All right, Amazing Spider-Man six twenty one. Um, if you're a fan of the Mister Negative character, then I w if you're a fan of Black Hat or Mister Negative, then I'd recommend picking it up. Um, it was an okay issue. I mean, it was slightly better than the last stuff I've been reading, but it was pretty good. It was pretty good for a one-issue story, right? So that's pretty much all the Image and Marvel titles for the week. Um, stay tuned for my DC portion of the review, which is probably going to be longer. Later.